What's up guys? Welcome back. I hope you're having, did have, or will have a great day. We are back on the Firebird Project Black Widow. This is going to take a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Partly because I don't have any time. It's costing more money than I thought. And I ran into an issue. That issue is with the donor vehicle's engine. So some of you that have been following the channel know that I pulled a 5.3 liter LM4 out of a 2004 uh, Trailblazer. I bought the entire Trailblazer from a guy that was going to actually put that motor in like a, I don't know, 36 Chevy or something. And he said that he got super busy and kind of lost interest in that project. So I picked up the entire thing. Um, and I don't know how long he had it setting out in the elements. He claims that it was under like a carport for the entire time that he had it. I don't have any way of proving that. I know that when I got it, there was a tarp over the engine. And then of course I let it sit kind of out in the elements for months I don't know four or five months maybe uh, after I bought it so after I pulled it out I brought it into my shop and started looking at it and there was a bunch of water in it so it's got some surface rust and I don't know how well you can see this on camera maybe that maybe that light will come in handy now So, there is some surface rust. I honestly don't think it's anything that's going to be too major. This, I think, is just oil sludge and stuff, but the, the crank does have some surface rust on it. Cylinder walls, little bit of surface rust. Some of them aren't too bad. Let's see what this other side looks like. So, as you can see, it's a slight setback. Now, I watched some videos on how to deal with surface rust and it was suggested that vinegar will pretty much dissolve that surface rust. So I pulled all the rocker arms and soaked these in a tub of white vinegar and it actually worked out pretty well. So these have all been cleaned off. All these rocker arms have been cleaned off. Shot with WD-40 and then wrapped in saran wrap to keep the dust off them and whatnot. There is just no good place in here. The lighting is terrible. Anyway. Uh, so I'm going to oh, here's what I did. I also found out that this stuff Awesome The awesome cleaner you can pick up at the dollar store is supposed to work wonders to clean the grease and grime and whatnot off of Engine blocks and stuff So I'm gonna clean that stuff up. I'm gonna pick up a hone um and hone the cylinders to get that surface rust off and whatnot. And we're just gonna rebuild this thing. I'll do new rings, new push rods. I, I haven't taken the lifters out yet, so I don't know what those look like. Uh, I do wanna do a cam, and I wanna do the pack 1218 springs. Uh, but anyway, that'll be all in the future. I think for right now, I'm just gonna clean up this engine block and we'll see where we go.
been a couple weeks since the last video I shot and I think that was uh, regarding cleaning the pistons. Um, I haven't been out here recording anything, uh, although I have been out here. Um, try and do this with a little bit of dignity here. Um, so I found out a few weeks ago that a good buddy of mine, uh, who I've known since he was 15, uh, he was, uh, 46 or 47, uh, and he had a major heart attack. Uh, he was a huge part of our family. Uh, my kids know him as uncle, even though we're not blood related. Uh, and uh, they took him off life support on Labor Day. And 17 minutes later, he passed away. So, um, I've had to be out here to uh, kind of take my mind off things. Uh, so I've been working on the engine, but I haven't really recorded anything, and I figured it was about time to try and get back in the swing of things uh, and finish this video. Uh, it's been a couple months, I think, since I've uploaded one. Maybe not quite that long, but uh, it's been a little while. Uh, so anyway, uh, I've got... Four of the eight pistons uh, fairly clean. I need to get some more uh, white vinegar. That stuff works wonders. And also the Dollar Store Awesome Spray. That stuff will cut through grease like I've never seen. Um, so I've got the other four pistons are soaking in this nasty mess. I know it looks like straight oil, but it's not. Uh, I've got the engine stripped down and I've put a coat of primer on it just to kind of see what's going to happen here. Just a little dusting coat of primer. Obviously it needs more and I still need to mask where the heads go and whatnot, but I, I don't want to get too far into it if it's not going to really work out. So here we are. Now I'm not going to reveal the color quite yet. I think it's a little bit different than what everybody else is doing. At least I hope that it is because I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. Uh, got the crank soaking in a bath. I think I think it'll clean up pretty good and then we'll we'll get it polished up, but uh whew, these heads, man. Uh, I don't know. I've been told that with these LM4s, you want to pretty much keep the stock heads. I'm going to tuck you back in there. I've been told with the uh, LM4, you want to keep these stock heads. And if I'm not mistaken, these are 862 heads. So, once I get this block painted up and... Uh, I've got to order some new rings. They were pretty rusted in there. I actually broke one. And I figure, ring, you know, rings are cheap. Might as well just throw in a new set. Um, so while I'm waiting for that stuff to arrive, uh, I'll go to work cleaning these heads up, see how they come out. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to lap the valves. I poured some uh, of that white vinegar in the, in the chamber there, in the bowl. And uh, on a couple of them, it leaked out. I'm, I'm pretty sure it leaked out. It may be that my clumsy feet kicked them over or something. But um, I bought a hone, a little three stone hone. So I'm going to hone the cylinder bores. Uh, you know, I'm just going to try and keep plugging away uh, on some stuff. See what happens, you know, it's no secret. I, I really have no idea what I'm doing. I watch a ton of YouTube. Um, a ton of YouTube. I, 
even know why I uh, subscribe to any more streaming sites. I just watch YouTube uh, pretty much constantly, all the time, learning. Uh, anyway, let's get back to work. We'll put some more primer on this thing. We'll get the color shot on it. Uh, and uh, hopefully in the comments you guys tell me what you think. So, stick around. <laughs> Okay, we got a good coating of primer on there. I think I put uh, roughly three coats of primer on. Uh, looks pretty good. It's blinding. So now we'll get to laying down some color. It looks like this. this super razu uh, expensive parts washer so I can get some of these parts clean. So here we go. Okay, next morning here guys, ready to do the color review for the engine block. So here it is. It's cranberry. So just for uh, contrast sake, the cranberry up against the black. I think the cranberry just pops off that black. It's gonna look so good. 
So I think we're gonna do some of the engine accessories will be cranberry as well. The uh, brake calipers I'll do cranberry. Just, you know, a little bit of an offset accent color. I think it looks great. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think that cranberry's popping off that black? I think so. Oh, it's been a long day. Waiting for paint to dry is the longest and worst part about painting, I swear. Um, so, as you can tell, we did the valve covers and the cranberry with a little black accent. I painted the uh, crank pulley black earlier. Pretty sure I did that off film. And of course the block is pretty much cleaned and honed and painted. So tomorrow I'm going to start cleaning up the heads. They're awful. Uh, so we'll see how far we get on that. It'll probably be in another video. Uh, I'll post I'll get this one posted and do the heads in another video because I've got to clean them up and paint them and the whole deal. So anyway guys, I appreciate you watching and I hope you're enjoying the build so far even though it's taken me forever. Um, but we'll just keep rocking on what we can do and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again guys. Peace and I'm out.